What's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. I am actually about to head out the door and go get the kiddos, uh, but it's a fun little day because we have a little surprise for the girls. Um, so I'm gonna be switching from this to my GoPro uh, just to kind of capture their, their enthusiasm in the moment, but I'm gonna let you guys in on this. Um, so, Nathan has been wanting a Great Pyrenees puppy for some time now. Um, and we were actually going to get one around New Year's, um, and then we found out it wasn't full-blooded, and Simba, our Great Pyrenees now, is a full-blooded male, and we talked about getting a full-blooded female, and if we wanted to breed um, in the future and have a litter of puppies, we just wanted to make sure that they were full-blood Great Pyrenees. Uh, so we decided to say no, then this opportunity came up, we went to our friend's house, they had the most adorable, fluffy, great Pyrenees puppy that you ever did see. And Nathan was like, this is it, Jill. Like, I've got to get a dog. And it turns out that the owner had one female left. So after I, I get the kids from school today, we're gonna go pick up a puppy. They have no idea. This is going to be probably the last thing they would have thought that we added to the farm. Like the idea of adding another dog seems kind of crazy. Um, but we are, you know, gonna be adding more animals. We're gonna be getting more pigs soon. Um, we'd kind of like for Lily to get out of the chicken coop and just hang out in the backyard and kind of, I learn the boundaries of our property better. Um, but sometimes she runs the chickens and scares them a bit and just that's not really her element like it is Simba's. And so we would like to have another dog in there with Simba. And so we're kind of reconfiguring uh, animals on our farm right now, but I'm super excited. So let's go get the girls and show them their surprise. I can't wait for the second surprise. <laughs> Don't buckle up. We're gonna go get it, okay? We're gonna go get June, and then we'll go, okay? okay. June, what are we going? Um, are we going to get your surprise? Yeah. Are, are you excited? Hat. What do you think it is? Um, hat. You think it's a hat? Uh-uh. What do you think it is? Mm, pendant. What do you think it is? I think it's something to have to eat. I feel like you have to eat it. All right, we are headed there. Charlie, it is uh, nothing that you eat. <laughs> There's Daddy. Oh. What are y'all doing? Junie wants you to take her on a date. You want to go on a date with Daddy? Yeah. So you want to see what we got, June? Come on, let's go see. Is she okay see. with me videoing? Are you okay with us videoing? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go see. Hi. How are you? Good. Okay, kiddo. Hey. You ready to see what it is? Yeah. You ready to see the surprise? Yeah. <laughs> they think it's candy, so they might be really disappointed. I don't know if that's what you want. All right. What is, it? Um, what is it, June? Is that your new puppy dog? Yeah. You'll have to grab her. June! And Daddy got a puppy. Right oh, okay. yeah, I bet. I bet. Oh, oh my god. I'm going to set her down for a second. Yeah. Oh my goodness. On night watch with mom and dad. And Perfect. Awesome. Oh, that's so sweet, June. <laughs> All right, everybody, meet Dahlia. <laughs> what do you think about her, June? Did you expect okay. any other name? Did you expect any other name? <laughs> Charlie, come here. Come talk to your friends. Tell them about your surprise. She is super sweet, huh? She is. I was thinking too, I told Nathan we needed to... Mama! Oh, thank you. We needed to kind of dog proof the backyard for her and then we would introduce her to the chickens. But she came from a farm, so she has never been inside. It's a heavy puppy dog, Jude. Oh, heavy puppy dog? Yeah. So she's actually never been inside. And the lady said she was raised with goats, chickens, ducks. So... We're probably gonna slowly introduce her to Simba and Lily, but she is fine to. Oh. Did you give her a smooch? But she's good just to go outside. It's a um, stinky dog. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh my <laughs> gosh. This was really a present for Nathan. Yeah. Um, but my gosh, I love her. I just love she's her so much. Sweet. You guys remember I had Tula 
a uh, female Great Pyrenees pup, and she died at a very young age, and it was really sad. Tell them what you think. I love it. You, well, it, it's a her. You love her? Yeah. All right, guys, Nathan just brought Dolly outside to introduce her to Simba and Lily. So we will see. Simba is a big teddy bear. Lily's the one that can be a heifer. <laughs> so we will see. I'm gonna go check on them and see how that's going. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? I brought you a lady friend to the farm. Did you see that? I got you a lady friend. How is she doing? She's good. Oh, you checking out those chickens? You gotta get her a, a bowl. A bowl and a collar. A collar? Yeah, she needs a collar. Oh, yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, they do. Hey, Dahlia. What color? Uh, Black? No. Black Dahlia? No. She's got lots of space to roam. Hey, sis, come here. Come here, you cute little thing. Yeah, you're so sweet. You like your new home? All right, so tell us why you wanted us to get another dog. I just feel like we needed it. <laughs> Good enough answer for me. <laughs> no, I fell in love with Ron and Mandy's and found out that uh, this breeder was in our area and just thought it wouldn't hurt to have an extra one. Uh, Lily's getting old and I know she wants to come inside, so. Yeah, that is true. And I was I was kind of telling them too, she's not really the best with the chicken. She's no, she, definitely more aggressive. So if we could just move her to the backyard and then bring her in yep. and kind of have and that's what'll happen. Have Dahlia and Simba just be the guard, the guardians of the property. Get back. Chris Prance. We'll help you guard your bowl, okay? Don't worry. We'll help you guard it. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Simba's a little jealous right now. <laughs> what? You sniffing her all over me? I did not betray you, okay? I did not betray you. Look, hey, be sweet. She's just sniffing you. She probably thinks you're her daddy. That was one reason that Nathan and I wanted a full-blooded Great Pyrenees female is because Simba is a full-blooded Great Pyrenees male. And we were, I just texted the person that we got Simba from asking uh, if he was fixed because we don't know. And he's so big and so hairy and he's not one of those dogs that we like. I mean, we interact with him like this, but we haven't really paid, <laughs> rude. Um, we haven't really paid close attention to see if he is fixed or not. So we're gonna be doing some inve investigating. It's okay. And see, but if he is not fixed, and there's a good chance in the future we'll breed these two and have a litter. Um, because what is better than little Great Pyrenees puppies? So that might be a fun little adventure that we get into later on. But so far, they're just sniffing each other out. Simba and Tula, the Great Pyrenees female that I had a couple years ago, they were super tight, like thick as thieves. Simba and Lily don't so much care for each other. Um, but I'm hopeful that Simba and Dahlia will just kind of take to each other and be good little friends. <laughs> I'm hoping that she'll be just super, super sweet. So Simba's a great dog, but we got Simba when he was like two and a half years old. We got him because he was trying to be rehomed because he had a lot of anxiety and depression. So very, very standoffish, really skittish. Took a long time to build a relationship with Simba. I mean, Nathan, it probably took you what, over a year before he would even come up and let Nathan pet him. Um, and so the kids can't really come in here and love on Simba. He's gotten a lot better since we've moved to this farm. You can tell he's definitely in his element. But I'm hoping since we've gotten her when she's so young, we can come out here when the girls collect eggs, they can love on her and pet on her. And she'll just be a sweet little thing. Ain't that right? You're gonna be a sweet little thing? She's super chill though. Like she slept in the car on the way here. You know, most puppies, I just think back even to Tula, when we had her as a puppy, she was so high energy. This 
Maybe just because she was born on the farm and that's all she's ever known and Tula wasn't. She's just super chill. What do you think, Simba? You want to meet her? Y'all might make babies later, so you need to be sweet, okay? Did we make a good purchase? Is she a keeper? Is she a keeper? Hey, come here. Simba. Simba, come here. Oh, he really does like her. You just take her out. All right, Nate is about to walk around. This is what, about an acre fenced in here, an acre and a half where the chickens are? Yeah. So he's gonna just walk around and make sure there's no little nook or cranny, especially by the road that she could squeeze out of. I'm hopeful that she's probably just gonna stay near where Simba and Lily are, which Simba sleeps up there in that shed back there. Like every night, that's where he goes and sleeps. That's where he is every morning. So hopefully they'll just kind of buddy up, but. Oh yeah. Welcome to the farm, Dahlia. <laughs> I think she'll fit in great. Yeah, I think she'll fit in great. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us as we surprise the girls. Uh, really a present for Nathan, which I am enjoying more than I thought I would. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.